Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today it's Sunday. It's time for a shave. Real quick, I'm gonna wet my face. Well, it is Sunday, like I already said, and it's time for a shave. I need a shave too. Today's shave soap is brought to you by HCNC, and this is Gunslinger. I do have the matching splash that I'll be using today. And this soap was sent to me by Pete over there at HCNC. And here's what the soap looks like. I haven't lathered it or anything yet. But just kind of getting the whiff out of the tub. For some reason, and this is just me, but the scent on uh, Pete's soaps are kind of locked into the soap. And so it's kind of difficult for me to smell uh, right out of the tub without lathering it. Uh, once I lather it, it seems like, boom, it comes to life. But uh, I will put the scent profile right here. Today's blade of choice is going to be the Gillette Super Thin, and I'm going to be using that in the Helix Apollo Light. And this may be called the Smart Helix, and the model is the Apollo Light. I always get that confused, but uh, with it being the light version, the head is super slim, and it has the unique uh, lather channel there. But this is an excellent razor. I'm not sure that uh, with everything that's going on, if his website is still up, but if you can get one of these razors, I highly suggest it. Check out the buy, sell, swap pages or bug your buddy that has one sitting around that he's not using, get it. So I'm taking the razor apart, I'm gonna throw the blade on there. And I do apologize for the late video upload. I was up a little bit late last night. It's been one of those long weekends for me. And the Adobe allowed me to sleep in a little bit. So I figured why well, get up. And this does have just a little slight overhang. Let me see if I can shift that just a little bit. Yep, you can shift it just enough to where there's hardly any overhang. And I did uh, whip that up during one of the edits and this scent is definitely a tobacco scent it's kind of warm and spicy but yet sweet and woody if that makes sense uh, in the tub I kind of picked up a little bit of a um, kind of a leather smell but I think that's just the actual soap and not really a scent and now that it's lathered up, I do not smell that, so that is nice. At first, I kind of thought that maybe that scent wasn't going to be for me, but you know, that's why you, you need to try things, because your body chemistry, your nose, just the, there's so many things that come up into this that make everything change. And I'm, I'm running this pretty thin here. Just on the edge of it's going to bloop right off my face, which makes for easy rinsing, easy lathering. And did I tell you that I'm using my original Trotter's handcraft brush? Look at that. What a beauty. I will put a picture right here of the items that I'm using today. And since I'm editing on my phone, it's a little bit easier to do it that way than try to put a little picture here. So let's go ahead and warm up the razor and get the shave going. Pass number one with the green. And 
I see some notifications coming in on my phone. Nice. I know uh, I had seen on Instagram, I think even on Facebook, that Pete uh, was going to be releasing this scent today. So if this is a scent or a soap that you want to pick up or you think you like it, today's the day to get it. And I do want to say thank you to Pete because he did send this uh, soap set to me for free because he knows that I really enjoy tobacco scents. And he said he had been working on a scent that he really likes. And he said, I think you're going to love it. And he sent it to me and I've been busy with life. And I just haven't got around to doing it. And I didn't realize that soap. I thought that soap had been out before and maybe I hadn't seen it. Um, one of the ways, if you go on Pete's website and I'll try to put a link there in the description box. I'm not sure if I can do it through my phone, so I may have to go back and do it at a later time. But the scent, uh, the way, excuse me, the way the um, website's set up, it's um, it's a little, for me, it's a little bit uh, tricky to navigate because the scents, when you click on them, uh, it will pull up like a, a page and it'll say like originals and and then it'll go to like men's fragrance, masculine, and uh, all that kind of stuff. Like, I can't remember. There's a couple other categories. There might be ones that say inspired by, I think, and maybe a scent, you know, where it's a unisex scent. And to me, it's that's a little bit trickier uh, to navigate, especially when, when you get to that page. There's like another little drop-down box, and it seemed like originally, uh, on when the site was first set up years ago, you could just scroll down and see all the descriptions, and then when you wanted to say you were going to buy one, you would just click the drop-down box instead of the whole page refreshing every time you picked a certain scent. Okay, so if you get to the page and you don't see an item, there is a little search bar that you can uh, click in there. And whenever I pulled up the scent notes, uh, I thought gunslinger was one word. And I tried to type that in in the search box and it, it didn't pull up. So I ended up separating it into two words and then it pulled up and I was able to find the scent profile. So if you're trying to find something on the website, just be mindful that the way you type it in may not pull it up if you're unable to find it. And if you're still unable to find it, I would reach out to Pete and say, hey, I'm looking for this. I can't find it. He will be more than happy to help you locate the item that you are trying to find. This razor is just very smooth and it's it's efficient, but you don't feel any tugging or pulling or like any massive blade gaps. And that's one reason I, I really enjoy this razor. When I first uh, was gonna purchase it, uh, I, I was kind of iffy on it because I started applying that rule of stick with the known manufacturers or artisans and I didn't really know this company but the handle and the design just kind of stuck out to me and I thought man I really want that you know and it it was going to be another risk to take and I'm glad that I took the risk because it is an enjoyable razor for me Mm-hmm. Nice. 
I do have a bowl full of cold water here and I'm just gonna do a quick rinse. Must have been a mama hair on there or something tickling my ear. <laughs> I think I rinsed the towel off too much. Just not real wet, but I was able to get it all. Wow, nice. And I did remember to bring the ice cube stick up with me. And it is, every time I bring it out, it just kind of, it starts to melt a little bit different. That's okay. I always try to let out any water because once I start applying it to my face. Starts dripping everywhere. Oh yeah, I missed that ice stick. I kind of wish this was a twist bottom because you have to push it up and if you let go, it falls back down. That's the only downside to this, but hey, it works nonetheless. Okay, let me grab a... Um, Lancaster black sheet towel to rinse, I mean not rinse, but to pat my face down. Because that really helps with uh, adding the balm, if you're, or not the balm, but the splash, if you're um, putting too much on, it can cause it to not absorb into the skin because of the, oh, too much. And you know, the one thing I forgot to get out was my leaning bottle of star jelly. There's still several, several uses in here. I gotta be, gotta be careful. I had reached out to Douglas the other day and I said, hey, have you ever thought about doing a refill packet for these? Uh, <clears throat> You know, you can go get samples of the star jelly for like 99 cents. And it comes like in a little foil packet. And I had said, you know, hey, uh, would you do a refill for these? And then, you know, like I know these containers and the pump and the label, that's all that stuff costs money. And <clears throat> it's kind of a shame to throw away that container. And he said, well, you know, that's kind of another thing, another item that I would have to have, excuse me, on the website. And so uh, if you are addicted to star jelly or you really like to use it, maybe you should reach out and say, hey, Douglas, I would like to get a refill set. And uh, maybe enough of us can get together. Maybe he'll do it. It would be nice. If not, no big deal. I'll just order another pumper and I just don't know that there's anything that I could repurpose that and use it for so all right that is the shave of the day I appreciate you sticking with me if you haven't subscribed please consider doing that now and I will see you guys on Wednesday and that will be will it shave Wednesday another blade showdown you have a great rest of your weekend